Hello and welcome to another episode of Deep Dive Sessions. I'm Chris Clausing and Program Director at Gold Coast Schools and we are here with Dan Villa who is our Registered Architect at Gold Coast. Well, How are you? I'm, I'm very well. Okay, it's good to see you. We Thank got you. we got another deep dive to, to jump into today. Mm -hmm. And um, before we actually get started with that, I wanted you to tell them a little bit about your plan reading class because we have multiple plan uh, reading classes a year. Yeah, yeah. So tell them a little bit about the class, what to expect. Um, so the plan reading weekend workshop is an excellent opportunity for anybody like, you know, y'all are mostly studying for the contracting exams, but really we have all sorts of people there. We've got realtors, we've right. got estimators. Um, and what we do is we do a general sort of beginner's overview of how to go through a plan set. And we talk about everything that you're gonna see in a plan set. We talk about architectural drawings, we talk about structural drawings, we talk about MEP, right. we do a little bit of plan math, you know? So really it, these videos, especially the plan reading ones that we're doing uh, and the math ones that we're doing are sort of a complement to that class. But uh, if you like what you see here, please consider taking the uh, weekend course. Uh, we do it um, about every other month, but yeah. check, check out the Gold Coast website to see when the next one is. Uh, you won't regret it. It's a great class, and I've sat in with Dan multiple times on that. Thank you. It's really uh, it's 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 so hands on. Yeah. And I just like the way that you you run that class. So it's all day Saturday, all day Sunday. I mean, yeah. it's really really a lot of information packed in that. Yeah, and we so. have like uh, actual uh, architectural plan sets with engineering and everything that we go through. We do exercises. You'll learn something. Yep, and we're dropping the bomb on Dan now. We have we have committed to doing those classes live stream twenty twenty three. Wow! Um, yeah, so well, yeah, so I was very excited about that. So, um, so you could take them in class at our campus, or also we are going to be testing out to see uh, how the online. But it's cool. great; we can do it with the yeah, screen yeah. share, and you yeah, can really. Absolutely. And then what we'll do is, if you want to take it on online, you can just we'll mail you the book and the plans, and the, you'll the be, future is now. The future is now. You'll be, yeah. you'll be like you're right in the classroom. So yeah. we're excited about that. But uh, we digress. So thank you for that. It's going to be a great, yes, a great uh, 2023 schedule so uh, let's dive into so we're doing the module 10 plan set so this is going to be the module 10 in the general contractors study manual so let's go ahead and take that out guys this is going to be our oh, wait, what are we plan? talking about today oh well, that's a good question I thought you were going to tell me <laughs> uh, we are going to actually be doing we're going to do volume takeoff today of concrete okay All right specifically we're going to be focusing on the concrete sidewalks within this particular site plan perfect all right, so we talked in a previous video, we did a site plan video on areas. So we did area, solid area, one, solid area two, I believe is yeah. what we did. Yeah. So we covered the solid area of this triangular section and this quarter donut section here. So you want to check that video out. That's yeah. a great video. But you won't need that to watch this one. Correct. You, you can dip in and out. Yep. So this one's going to be independent of that one. But this one I like because on the state test, they do ask this question quite a bit. They want to know that you have proficiency in calculating volumes. All right. So okay. volumes are uh, essentially, you know, three dimensions versus area, which is two dimensions. So we'll kind of go through the basics of, of that first. But I want to identify real quick on this kind of how do we find a well, first of all, what sheet is this? And then how do we find what we're looking for if they ask us specifically the volume of a sidewalk? OK. All right. So this sheet here that we're looking at, OK, is uh, is the site plan. All right. And on your uh, module 10 drawing package is the first sheet, sheet number one. OK. Right. And this will be you want to make sure you're looking for the that's the com Chamber of Commerce building. Um, that's that that's correct. So gotcha. we're going to zoom in a little bit here onto our building four-story Chamber of Commerce building, okay? All right, um, we do talk about site plans in general in one of the other deep dive videos. So if you want a, an overview and, and lots of information about what's in the site plan, check that video out. But in this one, we are looking for our concrete walks, correct? Right. Okay, so um, remember on the site plan, it's showing us everything that's outside of the building, all right? so. What we're gonna do is we can do this two ways. The first way is to look for the notes that are on the building, on the on the drawings, excuse me. Okay, so um, we can take the, the whole thing in at first and then we're gonna zoom in. Um, we can kind of, 
just sort of start to imagine like being there in the building, right? The, this is the parking area over here, right? And over here, two, two main parking areas. Yep. Where are you going to have sidewalks? Where are you going to have concrete walks? That's true. Next to the parking area, yep. right? And they're going to yep. take you up to the building. So you can just start to visualize it like that and start to like think about, hey, where are we going to have sidewalks, okay? So we parked and we're walking up towards the building. We have one concrete walk here. You can see that note, okay? And on this parking over here, on the left-hand side, we got another concrete walk here, okay? So we can see from that note, right? It's The little arrow is pointing to this area here, this rectangular area right here, okay? On this side, the note's actually on the, the concrete walk. It's indicated with this little like dotted uh, pattern, okay? So that's sort of, in this plan, we got that dotted pattern. And if we zoom out, we don't see that dotted pattern anywhere else. Right. So we only have these two concrete walk areas. Gotcha. So it, it, the, the patterns mean something. They designate something. Uh, Perfect. Yep. Yep. Absolutely. Okay. Excellent. So what's next? Well, so here's the thing. On So we've identified the number of walks. We basically have two walks. Um, let me go real quick over kind of the dimensions that we need for volume real quick, if you don't mind. I oh, want to yeah, jump yeah, into yeah. that. And then we'll go back to the plan set. But let me just, yep. let's get us uh, here so we can go on to yeah. our... Uh, white light board here. So uh, in the in the previous videos we've done, we did area calculations, triangle area, we had area yeah. of, a, of a rectangle, area of a square, area of a circle. Yeah. Okay. In this one, we're going to do volume. So in volume, you have three dimensions. You need a length, uh -huh. maybe times a width could be times some other dimension. In this case, I'm just going to say depth. Mm -hmm. So length times width times depth. Now, two of these dimensions, if you have two of these dimensions, this is your area, right? So you can find the surface area of something. And then if you multiply that surface area times the depth, you will get a volume of something. Okay. okay. And in units, what are we looking at here? Sure. Area is always in units of square feet yeah. or square inches or something square. Square yards. It could be anything square, but it's going to be square is really the unit. Okay. Once you get to volume... This is going to be like cubic feet or cubic yards or cubic inches or anything yeah. like that. So really, but cubic is the unit of measure. Okay. So you might see like a, um, oh, I got a pen too. Boom. Oh, you, look at that. You might you've see been, been uh, feet. Promoted. Cubic. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. Yeah, I know on the some of the practice tests, they kind of have this, the cubic feet, which okay. is. And this would be feet. There you square. go. Perfect. Yeah. Boom. That's it. Cool. So yeah, so we're going to be we're, today. We're going to be living here in the cubic dimension area. Three D. Yeah, exactly. Three D. And so, and well, it's so funny you say that. So let me draw that out. So, um, <laughs> so if you think of it in a, in a set of plans, you don't really have any three dimensional renderings, right? Everything is a two dimensional rendering. Usually, right. So yeah. that's why sometimes it's a little confusing for students on the cubic yardage or cubic foot or cubic inside because they're really only seeing two dimensions so you have to find that third dimension somewhere sometimes you can find two of them on the site plan for instance good point you'll be able to find the total length right that's the first one then we'll have to identify the width of the sidewalk that's mm -hmm. the second one now the depth the plan is not going to necessarily tell you or show you the depth because this is a two-dimensional rendering it's not going to show you a, a, a depth on that so we got to find that we got to find that depth um so that's what we're going to that's what we're going to do now for concrete we're in concrete right that's because the sidewalks are concrete so in concrete typically the unit of measure you're going to see is cubic yards all right so see why now in but a lot of times we're going to be using the calculator on this the construction calculator minute Sometimes the calculator will give you, or your dimensions will give you some cubic feet measurement. Here's a perfect example. So let's say we have a cube, All right? Look at that. Isn't that good? Almost good. So this is our this is our cube, right? It's pretty good. It's pretty good. All right. Yeah. Now let's say we have three feet here. We have three feet here, and we have three feet there. Yeah. All right. So if we want to calculate the volume, if we were to pour water, let's say, into this or, or concrete into this, right, we're trying to fill this cube up. The way we would calculate the volume of this is we would take the three feet 
times the three feet times the three feet. And we would end up with 27 cubic feet, right? We're good? Okay. Yeah. Okay. But that's not how we do concrete. We don't do concrete in cubic feet. But you'll see that they gave me the dimensions in feet, so it spits out a result in feet. Now you're talking about ordering it. It talking about ordering it exactly. Yeah, like exactly. when you order concrete, you can't order one cubic foot of concrete. Exactly. It's right. going to be in a cubic yard, right? Right. It's, yeah. So how many feet? So so one yard though equals three feet. Is that correct? Uh, in length. In length. In length. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. So one yard is three. So if I have three feet here, this actually equals one yard. This equals one yard. This equals one yard. Right. Mm -hmm. So now if we use the measurements of the units of yard, look at what happens here. We have one yard times one yard times one yard equals one cubic yard. Mm -hmm. So now I know that one cubic yard equals 27 cubic feet. Yeah. That's my conversion. Beautiful. Right? So now if I get a measurement in cubic feet, I'm going to divide this by 27, and that'll equal one cubic yard. Okay. Can we so, do a little example of that just real quick? Absolutely. Yeah. So, that's a, so just kind of like backing up. Yeah, go ahead and go ahead and give me a clean. Let me, let me just, we'll leave that one at the top. Yeah. Right there. So now if you have the construction calculated, it does it all for you, which is great. But it's important to kind of understand the basics, I think, of the concept. So uh, let's say we have a slab. And my slab dimensions are, it's 20 feet, mm -hmm. right, by, let's say, 10 feet. And we have, I'm going to be... So it's a very thick slab. But that's 20 feet long by 10 feet wide. Sure. And let's say it's uh, let's say it's one foot deep. It's a thick slab, right? <laughs> it's for a Mack truck or something. It's for a highway. It's a highway truck. <laughs> and you know why? It's because I'm very lazy and I don't like I don't like to do math that's with fine. weird numbers. But but here's the great thing with 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 uh, multiplication is it doesn't really matter. Yeah, what order, what you order they are or what they are. It doesn't matter. Okay, sure. I could do 1 by 10 by 20 will give me the same answer as 20 by 10 by 1, which will give me the same answer as 10 times 1 times 20. Mm -hmm. It'll be the same. It's all cumulative. So that's the good thing. It doesn't always doesn't work like that with, addition, with subtraction and addition when you combine those two. So um, let's take this. So we have 20 times 10 is 200. For the area. For the area, mm -hmm. right? So that'd be 200. Feet, right now we have a square foot here we're going to multiply that times the one foot that's our depth right so we end up with 200 again cubic feet perfect okay so if we want to convert this now to cubic yards we would divide this by 27 at 27 because one cubic foot equals 27 cubic yards well, well, that way, one cubic oh, yard uh, equals 27 yeah. cubic feet, right? <laughs> so Don't Dan would have gotten that one wrong on the test. <laughs> Dan got... And it happens, okay. but that's kind of confusing. So let so me... What's the, let me... What is the answer, then? Well, I knew you were going to ask me that. Oh. Hold on. So now we go to our calculator. Mm -hmm. And if I take 200 mm -hmm. divided by 27, right, we end up with 7.4. That seems off. That's 200. Okay. Divided by 27. No, nah, just kidding. Okay, we're good. 7.4. Yep. So now let's do it like this. So let's that's take... cubic yards, right? That's cubic yards. So let me show you on the calculator now, see if we can do this, uh, kind of cheat with this. So we know we have 20 feet, right? And, and on the calculator, you want to enter the dimensions as you say them, just like as you would say them, right? Yeah. So 20 feet times 10 feet. And click feet. Yep. Yeah, and you're going to click feet times one foot. Right equals. Now it gives me right the unit. It's kind of give, going to give me the the units that I put in. It's going to output those same units, cubic feet. I don't okay. really want these units though. I want this in yards. So if you oh. look here, I can toggle back in between. So it gives me feet. I want it in yards. Click yards. Boom. And that's so it. And then, and then right there it says cubic yard. It tells you cubic yard. So we yeah. did it the old fashioned way first, but this is how you do it on the calculator. Okay. Perfect. So you don't have to do that. Can I can I say one quick thing yeah. before we go to the site plan? Yeah. Yeah. So I so uh, you might hear when when we're talking about concrete, you might just hear somebody say yard when they're talking about cubic yards. Right. Right. And I actually I had a student in class ask me that about that the other day because it is a little confusing. So I might say, yeah, I need 50 yards of concrete. Well, what we actually mean is we need 50 cubic yards of concrete. 
So right. I don't get too hung up on that. It's just sort of like a terminology thing, yep. a job site thing. If somebody's saying, talking about concrete and they're talking about quantity and volume, they might just say yards. They might not say cubic yards. So right. just wanted to clear, you know, yep. make sure that was clear. Perfect, yeah. perfect. So I think we can, okay, we have an erase. understanding. Yeah, go ahead and erase that. I think we have a good understanding of kind of the basics of how to calculate volume, how to convert from cubic yard, cubic feet. So now you got me doing it. Cubic feet to cubic yards, so that's good. Um, let's go back to the plan. Yeah, let's jump in. And let's dive into this. Uh, so we're figuring out the, uh, we're figuring out the, oops. You're blowing up. Blowing up. You know what, guys? You gotta, you gotta <laughs> stop. You gotta stop. It never stops. Um, so we, <laughs> we gotta do the. We got two areas. Yeah. Okay. So we got this one here. We got this one here. Which one do you want to do first, Chris? Um, let's go ahead and do the. Let's do the long one first. Okay. And oops, sorry. I'll keep popping stuff up. Let's do the long one first, okay. and we got to figure out. So what I do is I want to combine both of those things. So I, I really only need the length for both. I don't need to do these separate calculations because they're the same width. Because they're the same width, right? Yeah. So we can find the we can find the length. We can. They actually give us the width. Let's start with the width. Because they give it, to, they give us the width, right? Cake, love it. So, what is the width of this sidewalk? Where can we find the width? All right. Now we are going from edge to edge of sidewalk, right? Right. That's what we need. Is what we Let's need. Let's zoom in here a little bit. Okay. So this is our dimension here, right? Okay. Now this dimension is actually from here to here. Okay. So is that telling us edge to edge of sidewalk? No, that's including the curb. Yeah. So how thick is that curb? Let's just. Yeah, we got to figure out the width of the curb. Well, it doesn't tell us. Right. Right on this sheet. Yeah. So uh, we'd have to go to uh, I, if you go to if you zoom out for one second, and if you go mm -hmm. to the detail. Oh, we got a curb and gutter yeah, detail. Curb and right gutter detail in A9, right? For, so, for the sake of time, should, yeah, can, so, can you just tell us how wide the curb is? Yeah, so I would love to tell you if I could remember. Oh. We have to go to sheet nine no problem. Uh, but to, to figure it out. But um, no problem. Oh, look at that. See, so you got, oh, you, got the, you, you can zoom right over there. Yep. All so right. there we go. Here we are. So, so it's a five inch curb. Five inch curb plus, you got to also, it includes that two inches oh, plus, okay. that it's that whole thing. The so it's really. Slope. Yeah, if you really, it's the one foot six, it's that hole. That curb is represented um, on that drawing as the one foot six inches. Okay, so it's the okay. curb and the gutter. Correct. Yeah, so yep. so we got, this is the curb here. Yep. Here's the gutter. There you, go. Here. Okay, there you go. So we got the curb and gutter. So the curb and gutter is represented for one foot six, right? So in that case, I knew that's what it was. No, I didn't. I have so many plans in my head. I oh, but well, that makes it really easy, though. It does. Because we've got... Look what happens. So that dimension, right, is... Um, I'll just write it on here. So that dimension is 11 foot 6, right? And that includes the sidewalk and the curb and gutter. Right. So we're going to subtract that 1 foot 6, which is the curb and gutter width. Right. Boom. 10 feet. That's it, 10 feet. So there's your width of your sidewalk. So now we know the width of the sidewalk. We need to find the length and then we need to find the depth. Yeah. Right? So we'll get to the depth in a second. Let's figure yeah. out this length because in previous um, in previous so videos, we'll 10 feet up here. Oh, there we go. Perfect. In previous videos, we've talked a little bit about if the plan's not going to, they're not going to hand you the exact dimension all the time. You're going to have to extrapolate from yeah. other dimensions sure. on the plan set. Which so, we just did with the curb and gutter exactly. and the sidewalk. Yeah. Which is what yeah, we just yeah. did, right? It doesn't tell us here that that curb and gutter was one foot six. We had to go and look for it. And we found it. Now we know that sidewalk's 10 feet. Cool. So now we got to figure out, okay, we have two sections. So if you look here, it does uh, zoom down a little bit on that first oh, one. Yeah, go right there. Perfect. It shows you that the dimension lines from basically here to here. Sorry, we're talking about right here to here. Yeah, we're, ta we're talking about this dimension here, Chris. Sorry. Yeah, that's it. Ninety-six yeah. feet ten inches. I'm gonna cheat and make that ninety-seven feet. Okay. Because I just I just. Hate so we're calculating the length now, right? So yeah. So we have the length of that first sidewalk at ninety-seven. 97 so plus uh -huh, plus right so what i'm when i look at this plan though if you zoom out a little bit and just show both sidewalks for one second there you go okay so i'm looking at this sidewalk on the left mm -hmm. 
I don't. They don't give me the dimension for that sidewalk, but mm -hmm. I know that that's pretty much the same dimension for the rest of this sidewalk. Remember, that sidewalk was ninety-seven up to this into the building. Oh yeah, that makes sense. So mm -hmm. if we can find now this dimension, we can probably just add it to this dimension and be okay. We don't need to be perfect with the boss. Okay, let's Sounds do it. Good. So again, we have to extrapolate. So what I what I like to do on this, if you zoom out all the way, yeah, we've already. So we know a couple of things because the plan tells me. Um, you know, give me the top property line for just a second. Oh, just, there yeah. you go, right there. Okay, perfect. Uh, oh yeah, because yeah, we got this bad boy over here. Yeah. yeah. So we've got a. So we we have we have the total dimension right from the top of the property line to the bottom. Yeah. Is what that two sixty? Yes. Okay. Perfect. Now the plan also gives us the dimension of the building. We know the building is one hundred and sixty eight by one twenty. So it's one twenty to the left and right, it's 168 here. Mm -hmm. We've already kind of determined 42 feet from the building yeah, that's up to the here, property line, right? right? So the building to the property line is up here? More or less. You could make an argument that it's a little less, a little more, but I would say 42 is good plus 168. Okay. Right? So that's okay. 210. So we're doing that. I'm gonna write these here. 42 plus 168. Yep, 42 yep. plus 168. That's going to give me the dimension of, uh, that should give me 210. Mm -hmm. So that 210 is the distance from the top of the property line to the bottom of the building. All right, so that's here. All right, so we're going from here all the way down like that. Boom, boom, boom. That's it. Now we know that the whole distance is 260, so what does this have to be? The remainder has to be 50 feet. Yeah, so we're, so we're looking for this part right here. That's it. That has to be 50 feet. Yeah, so we got... 260 minus 210, right? Yep. 50 feet. 50 feet. So that's going to be the length of sidewalk two plus the remainder of the length of sidewalk one. So we have 97 plus 50. Ooh, I'm going to put that 50 over here and then here we go. Do a little erasing here. Yep. Sorry if we're going too fast. That's Just rewind. Okay. Rewind. Let's say you can pause. That's okay. the beauty. 50. Perfect. So. This is the length of uh, sidewalk number, uh, the one on the The east, longer one, the, yeah. Yeah, the long one, there right? We go. So 147. There you go. Actually not sure if that's the east. Okay, so that's, right? That's so it. that's sidewalk one. That's sidewalk one. And then we have okay. sidewalk two is basically 50 feet. Sidewalk one. I mean, you could make an argument, it's 52 feet, 51 feet, like whatever, but it doesn't, you're close enough. Okay. So now we know that now we know the whole length because like we just need one total length, right? So to combined. total length. Yep. So total length, one ninety-seven. One ninety-seven. Perfect. So now we know. Okay, we have a total length of one ninety-seven. Mm -hmm. We know we have a width of ten. Mm -hmm. Which is up here. Right. Yep. Now we need. How thick is this slab? Right. Right. So well, let's. Should we do the area real quick? Yeah, we can do the area right now. Okay. So we got uh, width times length equals the area so we got 10 feet this is a this is an easy one yep not like these equals 1000 yeah go back down to here 1970 square feet there you go okay now we got to figure out let's go back to the plan so we know this is a two-dimensional drawing. It's not going to give me all three dimensions here. So where can I find my thickness of my slab? That's where the general notes always come into play. Always remember to look at the general notes. Look at all the notes. Yeah, for sure. But in this case, zoomed in up here on this sheet, we've scanned through these real quick. All right. Note number four, all walks are four inches thick. All right, it, it also gives us some reinforcement information, but we don't need that for this exercise. Okay, so all walks are four inches thick. There we go. So now we just got to take our third dimension, which we now know is four inches. Now this is where, the, mm -hmm. again, the construction calculator comes in handy. Mm -hmm. Okay. okay. Go, go ahead. Keep talking. So we're going to take that 1970 mm -hmm. square feet mm -hmm. times four inches. Now, if you're doing this by hand, you got to convert those inches into feet. So it would be represented by point six four feet because uh so sorry point three four feet because it's one third of a foot yeah four inches is one third of a foot okay okay sorry no nope. enough that is today. that's okay okay <laughs> but that's why you do the calculator right because you're going to be tired on test day two so uh what i'm going to do is i'm going to take my area well i'll just do it the i'll just do the whole thing do the I'll whole thing 10 okay feet. so we got 10 right 
times 197 feet times, now I like the calculator because you can just put four inches. I'm just going to put four inches here. Yeah, there you go. Four inches. And that gives you, now it's giving it to you, it actually, actually gives it to you in cubic yards, which is great. Oh, okay. Uh, it could give it to you in feet. If it gives it to well, you in feet. Well, let's start with that. So let's yeah. start with that. 600. Oops. No, Sorry, what is it? 600. Uh, oh, cubic feet is 656. Call it 657. Seven mm -hmm. cubic feet. That'd be cubic feet. And then if we wanted to convert that by hand, we divide it by 27, but it does it for us here. We just click yards on the calculator. Okay, so 24. Yeah, 24, well, 25. Yeah, I mean, when you're ordering concrete, you, you want to make sure you have enough. So right. round up. Well, round up, round say 25. Up. On the exam, though, probably more importantly, is you will get these answers in ranges. So they're never going to ask you a concrete question, volume question, without giving you a range of maybe two yards, three oh, yards. No? Oh, okay. so, so the answer here could be, um, the answer here could be, let's see, it was 25. So it could be like 23 to 26, something like that. Oh, okay. Yeah. So All that's right. another reason why you can kind of uh, approximate. Exactly. Exactly. Yeah. So perfect. So I think we nailed uh, we nailed the concrete volume question on the sidewalk. So um, again, these are the deep dive session series. So we're going to be covering another topic next time. So you want to make sure that you check that out. That was awesome, though. Thank check you. Check them all out. Yeah, appreciate it. Thank you, guys. Thank you, students. All right. See you next time. Thank you.